Three gun salutes in honor of military men and women who sacrificed their lives to keep Nigeria together. It's the, it's the grand finale of the 2018 Armed Forces Remembrance Day dedicated to remember the fallen heroes and appreciate the surviving ones. The event was an opportunity for these ex-service men and the families of their departed colleagues to again call government attention to their plight. It has been a very difficult time. Yeah. The government is not treating us well. As a retired man who fought for the Nigerian army, who fought for this country to keep Nigeria one, we are supposed not to be suffering. The elderly among us are suffering. Nobody ever tried to represent them for anything. On every occasion like this, people will come, they will say I'm for say Remembrance Day. They will cajole us. We will retire for, for a long time. We don't have money. They don't give us money at all. It has not been easy when the breadwinner of the house is not there. Some of the friends, they don't even know you. Even some of your friends will even run away from you. Speaking with OSRC, the Commissioner for Women Affairs, Mrs. Olawemi Latunji Edet, reassured them of government commitment to their welfare. The government, had, um, in its um, usual you know, capacity, has extended empowerment, you know, cash, um, uh, some money to wives of uh, we, uh, the fallen heroes. For the chairman of the Undo State Redovision Corporation, SRC, Mr. Kunla Debayo, the welfare of ex-service men and the families of fallen heroes must be a collective responsibility. It is important for us all to share sentiment, to share emotions with those who have laid down their lives and who are still laying down their lives for Nigeria. If we share emotions about what they are contributing, we will know what it has cost to bring this nation together. The event featured free medical checkup and distribution of drugs to ex-service men. We know that they have, uh, some of them have uh, contributed so much for the country and there is a little way that they can be recognized. Though the celebration has come and gone this year, the fulfillment of various promises to the ex-service men and the families of the fallen heroes is what the people will look forward to before long. Richard Ilisoni, OSRC News.